Have you ever wondered if you could just sail off the edge of the Earth? Or why pizza boxes aren't spherical? Welcome to a journey where we explore one of history's most, let's say, unique perspectives. Buckle up, we're about to flat out dive into the inception of the flat Earth theory. Welcome to the oddest history lesson you never asked for. Before the age of space selfies and 3D globes, some folks were pretty convinced Earth was as flat as a day-old soda. How did this all start? Let's rewind to the days when round Earth was the conspiracy theory. Cast your minds back to ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. For these guys, Earth wasn't just flat. It was a chic disk chilling in a vast cosmic ocean. Picture a floating space plate, but with less dining and more existing. Now, let's skate over to early Greek thoughts. Enter Thales and Anaximander, around 600 BC, sporting the fashionable flat earth with a sight of water, water everywhere. They probably looked at the horizon and thought, yep, that's definitely not curving. But Greek minds were a battleground of ideas. Aristotle, around 330 BC, was the party pooper of this flat fiesta. He's like, guys, lunar eclipses, ships vanishing on the horizon, come on, it's a sphere. But despite Aristotle's spherical mic drop, the flat earth concept was the conspiracy theory that just wouldn't quit. Fast forward to the Middle Ages. Spoiler alert, the flat earth dark ages is a myth as flat as the theory itself. The 19th century, an era of top hats, steam engines, and, apparently, historical hiccups. Our story begins with Washington Irving, a man with a flair for fiction and a knack for nonsense. In 1828, he pens a history of the life and voyages of Christopher Columbus, where Columbus is no mere explorer, but a valiant hero battling the flat-headed beliefs of his time. Now let's hop into the time machine to 1800s England. Enter Samuel Robotham, a flat earth pioneer. His method? Zetetic astronomy. His logic? Water is flat, so earth is flat. Simple, right? He gathered a cult following faster than you can say, but what about gravity? But wait, there's more. In 1956, Samuel Shenton relaunches the Flat Earth Party with the International Flat Earth Research Society. Their belief system? It's a mix of Earth is a flat disk, NASA is a hoax, and gravity? Never heard of her. Let's not forget the modern day heroes of this tale. In an era of satellite images and space travel, there are still those who firmly believe in a flat Earth. Their proof? A delightful cocktail of YouTube videos, internet forums, and a staunch disbelief in basic physics. But wait, what about the edge, you ask? Ah, the Antarctic ice wall, of course. The Game of Thrones-style barrier that apparently stops us from falling off. It's like a snow globe, but without the globe part. So, there you have it. The Flat Earth Theory. A blend of old-school thinking, historical hiccups, and modern-day malarkey. It's a story that somehow stayed afloat on the sea of scientific facts. From ancient disk designs to today's globe-denying gurus, we've surfed the flat waves of this bizarre belief. Enjoy this round, sorry, flat trip through the oddball alley of history? Smash that like button, orbit the subscribe icon, and fling this video across your social media like a frisbee. Check out our other videos for more hilarious takes on history's quirkiest theories. And remember, question everything, but maybe start with a globe in your hand.